Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So we are in Montana right now on the one the, on the new for the new state for American Truck Simulator. I was going to use the Western Star. I'm using it on my other profile, and I'm not close to it. I'm close to Montana on that profile, I, I, it'd be like a thousand something miles to go. I don't want to do that in the video, so I'm going to work the move the um, like get up closer before I do a video with the Western Star. Another one. Uh, I did do one showing it off, but we got um, we're hauling. We're gonna we gotta go down the road and pick our, our load up. Let's see. Let's go on down the road and pick up our load so we can see what we're hauling. So as you can see, we're using the Kenworth T680 today. Go ahead and turn the audio down. For the engine, I always turn it up because it's a little bit low for me. We'll turn it back middle ways here. Be on the road here. And I want to say to everyone that's been subscribing, everyone that's been liking the channel, thank you. It, it means a lot to help the channel grow. I'm really loving what I'm seeing, and don't worry, there is more stuff coming, there is more games coming, there will, there will be more mod reviews coming, more American Truck Simulator, more my LSPD4, it is all coming. I'm on my new PC now, and I just about got everything solved. Um, I have seen an issue up here in Montana that I hope they fix on one of the interstates. Oh, with the barriers. Right now we're not using the real company mod. I'm not, I don't have it turned on at this turn moment. Right. I might turn that traffic mod off. I can see. So the uh, Kenworth is running a Cat C15, 550 horsepower, with an 18 speed eight foot transmission. Go straight on. Uh, Z mods did did come out with a Cummins uh, engine pack for the new Western Star. We're gonna be checking that out. The engine sound and stuff for the Western Star. But look at look at Montana, guys. Beautiful so far. I'm loving the new DLC. Another awesome DLC from from STS. I do have the uh, blocks turned on right now because of the uh, issue on the interstate. Those uh, markers, uh, they, I hope they fix that because they got them in the middle of the interstate. And you know, in certain areas up here in Montana, you have go to straight on. go over the side of the road and go around them. We're all in the reefer trailer today. Turn right. And as far as I get, as far as me, as you guys know, I mostly only use SCS trucks, but I drive all of these SCS trucks. I don't just drive one. I'll drive uh, one for a while, and I'll change over and drive another one. Um, my preferred brand is going to be Peterbilt. Always has been, always will be. But I do drive them all. Uh, I, I am fond of uh, internationals. I'm fond of Kenworths. I'm not that fond of Freightliners. I, I drive them, but I'm, I'm not as fond of them as I am of Peterbilt. So, but that's me. You know, that's, that's, that's just what I like. You have arrived at your uh, I, I like the Max. So. Alright, so we're taking some frozen food. We're actually going to Cobra. 
the new city that come out in 1.4.5 that for the update um the added was added into wyoming haven't gotten to go there yet so that's good we're gonna get to show it off Spike here. Get me that traffic mod. Of course, I hit the wrong button. Did it not? Come on, quit hitting the wrong button. Let me pull up a little bit. You look at it in the 70s. Huh. seen it on the map. Let's turn around. We'll have to go back up there and see what's going on. It may have expired. No, it's there. I can't s Oh, okay. It's there. I see it now. I couldn't see it before. Let's pull back where we was at. We was doing the right thing. Yeah, guys, we will be running a run with the Western Star up here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna change the engine out so we can listen to the sound of the uh, Z mods is um, Cummins. Um, I don't think those trucks are very popular to have Cummins engines in them. I know Western Star, you know, Freightliner is very, very popular with Detroit diesels, but you know. see it unless I get close to it. Can't turn that mod at all. It looks like we're close to it. See, now I can see it. It's uh, coming in good now. 
too far away from it, I guess. Straighten up a little bit. Two hundred twenty-nine miles to go in this run. See some more Montana. Finding a new route. That was a little bit of a harder one. It was um, we couldn't see it with the sun. Like I said, I hope everyone is doing well. Get hope you're enjoying the content. I want to, like I said before, I want to thank everyone that's been subscribing the channel. And like I said, more games is coming, guys. I, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to... Turn left. We're not going to just kill to play this. Uh, right now, I, really and truly, there's nothing coming out this, that I would think that would be interested in for the channel. But um, I know Saints Row is coming. So we're going to take a look at Saints Row. But I mean, there's not too much out there that... I want to play other than that. So we are hauling frozen foods and we're going to Wyoming. Guys, right now I've turned off all the traffic. Um, there are no traffic mods in. There's no um, the real company mod is not in right now. I, I may turn it back on uh, a little bit later. As of right now, the real company mod is not in. There are no traffic mods at all.
have running a uh, traffic mod itself. I'm gonna have to turn it off though. I can notice some. Go straight on. <clears throat> come some lag because of it, so that's gonna be going away. I go through sometimes. Uh, it, it really reminds me of that with all the red lights and stuff. the new Western Star, the 57H. The I'd say, I think it's a little bit more of an aggressive looking truck than the Freightliner Cascadia is. Uh, the Freightliner, to me, doesn't have as a, a, a aggressive look on the front of it as that, as the 57H does. Uh, the truck looks good in the front. The grill and everything, the way they done the headlights, I, I, like, I like the way it looks. be turning off that traffic mod.
guys, if you haven't heard, I just got a new computer, so I'm um, still trying to get everything set back up. That's why they haven't been in the videos for like two weeks. I've been trying to, I've been doing some live streams. Um, I was going to do one uh, last uh, the night when my time released, but I didn't have no internet that night. So I could not stream. I do apologize about the little bit of lag. I will, I will turn that traffic mod off. I believe that's what it's called in it. I've been wondering about though with SCS is when they're going to add the, uh, the International 9900 Eagle into the traffic and this truck here and the uh, Western Star 57 Eggs uh, because they don't spawn in traffic. Uh, neither one of them spawns in traffic. I have not seen the, uh, Western Star, the International Eagle the first time spawn since they added it. Also, I'd like to see a little bit more work done to the uh, to your drivers that you can hire. I, I'd love to see them where you can actually see them on the road. Like we're traveling on this road right here, I'd like to see our driver come by us, going the same way. And, and I think that's something they can do because, I mean, if bus simulators can do it, they should be able to do it with the technology that they have. traffic has got a little bit better about spawning when they let you out and stuff. That's one thing I have seen that they have improved on.
steep, I think we'll be okay. It's always good to see new companies come to ATS. We always love to see new companies, I mean. So far what I've seen of Montana, I'm loving it, but I can't, and you still, you still can't wait for Texas. Keep left, and then turn left. Texas is gonna be even, even better than Montana. And for you guys that did not watch SCS the stream uh, yesterday with Lisa of Montana, uh, they did mention Turn in left. the stream that they, uh, originally they did plan for Texas to come out first, before Montana, and things happen, you know, that's, stuff happens in the video game industry where you gotta change your plans, you know, so, they had to change things around. And uh, get Mon and get Montana out there first. So they also mentioned that they do have three other DLCs. It's in early stages right now, a development. So <clears throat> well, they actually didn't say three. They did say other DLCs in development, so we know they're working on more. I actually like to see it now. I've seen a lot more bobtail. I guess that's something that they've added. You didn't see that too much before, so I'm, I'm glad right, to see that. And then continue straight on. We're clear, we don't have to stop. Go straight on. Scale it open, we're good. We don't have to, we don't have to go in, so. I'll be back in Wyoming now. We got... Oh yeah, we only got 47 miles before we'll be there, so yeah, we're...
right. Turn right. Unless that's part of the traffic mod we're using, the decav, that may be a new option because I don't remember seeing that before. Alright, we're here. We're in Cobra. Go straight on. Kobe. town they added into Wyoming. Thank <laughs> you. 
right on. So I got that. Uh, one thing I want to uh, say too, if you guys watch my LSPD Power series, um, I, I have been using Jurisdiction 3, but I'm kind of slowly adding in some other agencies. I'm going to see if I can get it to kind of work the way I want it to work uh, without adding in ones that I don't want. There are certain ones that I want and certain ones I don't want. So uh, basically, LSPD is going to cover the whole city down there. Uh, I would like to add in Mayor Park and let them cover Mayor Park. I've already added Sandy Shores, Great Sea Fleet of Bay, and Campus Police. Um, now, they won't have a K-9, they won't have transport, but it, it did work for me. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can add in Harmony and Chumash. I don't know how it's going to work, if it is going to work. Go we'll straight to on. Uh, off the backup is very picky about that kind of stuff, so we'll have to see if I can make it work. Excuse me. And you know what? We didn't get a thumbnail. Let's go ahead and get one right here while, while, I'm, while I'm talking. That's why we didn't get one. I was talking and forgot about it. We'll go ahead and get one right here. It's going to be in some traffic, but I mean, that's okay. A little bit more. Using my logo on my truck. The blue line. <clears throat> it's beautiful. I, I like this little town though. Even though this is Wyoming, it's still... You know, I mean, this shows... What all you know? SES has done. You know, it, I mean, look at this. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Yeah, but they're gonna turn off that traffic mod. That traffic mod is causing problems. We hit a pole. Let's go wide like this and come over. What we'll drive better than that? That's ridiculous. Some frozen vegetables. <clears throat> Let's see where they want this. The problem is, I can't see the line. Oh, that okay, that'd be easy. I can see that one. Where he picked up from, I couldn't see it. Right, let me see if we go, go right here and turn around. <clears throat> we're to turn around. Maybe we can make it right here. There 
we go. Well, he's in there killing time. Look at that. He's just sweeping away. Take him all day to sweep up. shape now we can start working on our truck here okay, let's see yeah that's all right put up in the grass it won't bother it I turned off the back of alarm on these trucks because well this uh air mod that I'm using it doesn't sound real so I just turned it off good in the mirror all right it's going over a little bit let's go over and straighten it up a little bit We drove exit 231 miles. We took a six hours and 58 minutes to get here. We consumed 56.6 gallons of fuel. All right, we're gonna see if we can get another load back up into Montana. Uh, Great Falls, Montana. I haven't been there yet. We don't want to go there. That's 113 miles. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go to the Great Falls on our next one. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I want to get in here and uh, take a little run. Uh, look, which we we did go into uh, back in Wyoming for this run, but we started off in Montana. We're gonna continue to explore Montana uh, in live streams and in videos. So. I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you everyone who's been subscribed to the channel. And uh, have a good day.